A Swift Kick in the Ass, episode 122. Life is challenging and difficult. No one gets out alive. Time to suck it up, buttercup. Get ready for a monster-sized boot. Aim to help you get traction on personal change and get living. I am John Curran, your host. Join me as I share my journey exploring the forces that motivate us to change and help us get through whatever life throws at us. A swift kick in the ass. Life on your terms. Welcome to another swift kick in the ass. This is your host, John Curran. And today's topic, yuck off, yum on. So today's episode is about a quote from Tom Robbins. He who said, There are only two mantras, yuck and yum. I choose yum. So I've had a lot of time to think about this. And the more I think about it, the more it just makes sense to me. And the more the yuck or yum difference just pops out to me. I mean, it's so apparent to me. For instance... I was visiting my daughter's school and I won't say where I was, I guess, because that would might point fingers, but I was at my daughter's school and I could just tell that the, the one of the staff members was real, a real yuck person. I mean, and what I mean by that is that everything she was saying was yuck it was negative it was not up to snuff it was not good enough it um it was just had uh it wasn't very positive it wasn't all good it was just bad and i think that we can easily be uh be on one side of the or the other of yuck or yum now, I'm a very optimistic person, and I probably le- tend more to be yum. I look at life as being yum. I mean, like, oh, delicious. You know, I'm, I look forward to the adventure in my life. I look forward to, you know, food is definitely a part of being yum. Um, you can look at different food as being yuck or yum. But you can also look at life experience as being yuck or yum. And people might tend to look at at life as either yuck or yum. So for me, you know my answer. Like Tom Robbins, I choose yum. Maybe you should ask yourself what you choose. And... When you start thinking about yuck versus yum and how you respond to life and how you look at life, I think you'll see that once you start to see the difference, it's, it's really easy to see and it pops up at you and it, and it just becomes more and more apparent. Um, I would also like to mention that, you know, as I was thinking about this topic, I have to think back about when Tom was here and how we would use um, kind of edgy, uh, edgy uh, lead-ins and edgy episode names. And this was this was going to be mine. I have to share it with you. If the kids are in the room, you might want to get them out. Well, I was going to call this, there's an old joke, so you might get it, but I was going to call this uh, spit, swallow, or gargle. Because, you know, that's the difference between like, love, and obsession. 
spit, swallow, or gargle. It kind of has a sexual connotation to it. Um, and uh, But it, I guess, you know, you can look at sex as a spit, swallow, or gargle scenario. Or oral sex, in particular. But you can also look at life that way, too, right? You can either just spit it out. You don't like it. it, it you, it's distasteful to you. Um, or you can just swallow it. You know, you can just say, hey, you know what? It is what it is. Oh. <laughs> and, or you can be totally obsessed with it and just totally soak it all in and just, you know, embrace, embrace the suck <laughs> uh, and just gargle, you know, gargle, you know, and just, you know, show your passion for it. Uh, you know, again, kind of, kind of gross, but I hope it makes you chuckle and I hope you, I hope, I hope it makes you think about yuck versus yum because, you know, again, I just love this concept. It's such a simple concept and it can be applied in so many different ways. Um, and it can be said in so many different ways, you know, like yuck off. Um, and I'm thinking I might even, maybe I'll make up a sticker. So hopefully I follow through with this. And, uh, if I don't kick me in the ass, send me, uh, send me a little note asking me to do this. Uh, it, it lights a fire under my ass to get things done that I promise you. But, um, I th I'm thinking I'm going to make some stickers about this. So maybe I'll have a different choice. I'll put in a, I'll put in a couple of choices and then I will leave some blank space so people can put in their suggestions. And uh, then we'll, we'll, we'll make up some stickers because I really, I think it's kind of cool. And I, I think we should spread it a lot of yum in this world. You know, the world doesn't have to be yuck. It doesn't have to be a bad place. And the more we try to make it yum and try to make it better, I think it makes it better for you. It makes it better for me. It makes it better for all of us. doesn't mean that we have to see things in the same way. It doesn't mean that we have to like all the same things. Uh, in fact, there's a movement kind of against, um, it, against this. It's, it's don't yuck my yum. And, you know, talk about life perspective. You know, what is yuck for me might be yum for you. You know, I'm, um, I mean, I could think of many different examples, especially sexual examples. You know, um, people sa seem to be disgusted when you mention sex. I think it's kind of ridiculous because sex is a beautiful thing when it's shared with the right person for the right reason. Uh, but you know, that to me is my yum and, um, maybe you find that distasteful and yucky. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter, you know, cause that this show is not about making you any one certain way. It's about kicking you in the ass and making you think about life. So I'm going to end it here, but I I hope that you learn something from from this. So, um I thought I had maybe another quote written down. I don't. So, yuck off. I'm making a choice here. Peace and chicken grease until the next time. This is John Curran. This is a swift kick in the ass. See you later. This marks the end of another episode of A Swift Kick in the Ass, placing it directly in the can. As much as I like to talk, even I have my limits, it's time to go. Catch me on the next show. For better or worse, whether you like us or not, please leave comments wherever you get your podcasts. Follow us on Twitter. Visit our home on the interweb. I think you can leave me a voicemail there. You can also email me at john 
at a swift kick in the ass.com. It's been my extreme pleasure. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you got your ass moving. Until then, until the next time, I'm out of here. Peace.